Hello everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. So today I want to tell you guys about my experience at the MCM Comic Con in London. And spoiler alert, it was not great. So we went on the Saturday, which I think that it was the worst day. I don't see people complaining about Fridays and Sundays. I think overall people are just complaining about Saturday. So we got there, did the whole famous very long walk until the entrance, did the whole serpentine security, which was basically a guy opening my bag, looking at it, okay, you're fine, go, went to pick up my friend's badge and then queued up to get in. They actually opened the doors at a quarter to 11. Now we had the general entry tickets, which the doors were open from 11, but they did open 15 minutes early, which for us was great. However, I think if you had both the priority tickets, you would get a little bit frustrated for seeing people um, entering before the time. Now, I don't know if 15 minutes is a big deal. However, I do want to take that into consideration for the people who did buy the priority tickets. It might not have been nice to see the general entry people coming in the time they paid for if that makes sense. Anyways, we got in, we were so excited. I was so excited for the event. I even did this hat myself because I was so excited. This is my third Comic-Con. So I, I wanted to do some shopping. I wanted to see some cosplays, um, but I was left feeling very, very disappointed. We went to get some breakfast because we didn't have any time to pick up anything on the way. We wanted to eat at the event anyways, to try different things. So we pick up some rice balls, went outside to enjoy the sun and then we realized we couldn't come back in again through the same doors. Yeah, we had to go all the way around the Excel Center, back through the doors we just came from, do the whole serpentine again. And because obviously there were still people arriving at this point, because it was just the beginning of the event, uh, we were, there were still a lot of people, the whole process took us about 20 minutes till we got in again. Also during this, I had an anxiety attack because I lost my ticket because I was so angry and frustrated. I was waving around and the tickets are really, really flimsy. This is what the tickets look like. And this is really flimsy. So it was easy to lose. Uh, like, funnily enough, I cannot do it now. But anyways, I was so angry that I was waving this around and it fell on the floor. And as soon as I looked on the ground, it was gone. So I started shouting. I started trying to see if I could find it because maybe I dropped it earlier and I didn't notice even if I was sure that I had just dropped it and I made so much fuss that somebody said oh actually we found your ticket here it is to be honest my first thought is that somebody had stolen it given how quick it just fell on the ground and I lost it immediately but I got I'm, I'm glad it went back to my hands that's at least you know so we did the whole thing again and let me say we are not disabled in any way however they were not giving any accommodations to disabled people they were making everyone do the whole circus again so from the testimonies i've been i've been seeing on, on social media and from what i've seen as well i can only imagine how frustrating and inconvenient at the least it must have been for people who had walking aids disabilities having to do the whole thing again and notice we had no warning we couldn't come back inside this is my third mcm comic con and i never had issues on the other two events to come in and out again it has always been fine but somehow on this one, they decided to not give any warning to people. People, Most people are for sure repeat visitors. So they're used to being able to come in and out again. And there was no warnings, no signage, nothing telling people that once they were out, they couldn't come back inside. We've seen a girl with like huge platforms and she was denied entry and she didn't have anything with her. She didn't have the ticket. She didn't have her bag. She didn't have anything because she just stepped outside to take some pictures. And then security were not letting her back in. And she had these massive shoes and she's like how am i meant to come back inside when i don't even have the ticket i need to ask my friends to bring me my ticket or something i understand that maybe this was an excel center and not an mcm comic con thing but there should have been signage if this is the case mcm should have taken the responsibility of at least making a banner something saying once you're past this point you cannot come back inside or something so people were advised that this was an issue now this leads us to the biggest problem which was overcrowding because people started realizing like we realized that you had to do the whole circus again people were not leaving the main areas of the comic-con people were not going outside to get some air so people were stuffed they were um it was too crowded it was too hot there was no ventilation no fans nothing 
it was unbearable at points really. I saw this girl having a panic attack on the floor. We had to assist with this girl that just fainted in front of us. Um, I mean, we, did, we didn't have to, but, but we did obviously. We're not just gonna leave her fainting on the floor. But anyways, people were fainting, people were feeling dizzy, people were feeling sick because it was too hot, too crowded. And obviously nobody wanted to do the whole circus of going in and out again, so everybody was staying inside and we couldn't see any shops because there was too many people. I didn't film almost anything, which actually led me to do this, this docking thing with you guys because I couldn't even film most of the event because there was too many people. I couldn't even see anything. I started seeing things on TikTok and Instagram that I didn't see while I was there because there was just so many, so many people. A lot of things were not signed properly. For example, there was the fringe sta stage that I couldn't really figure out where it was because we wanted to see like the pirate shanties and we thought it was outside and that's also why, why we went outside. And apparently it was inside somewhere else and we didn't find it because there was no signage everywhere. Saying there was no signage anywhere is a bit is a bit of an exaggeration because some things did have signage, but maybe the signage wasn't sufficient. Maybe things should have been a little bit, I don't know, more. Yeah. We also missed a lot of things that we wanted to see. For example, one of the things we went there for was to see the cosplays. We were so excited to see there was cosplay meets of Jujutsu Kaisen, Pokemon, uh, One Piece, Fairy Tale, etc. We wanted to see all these cosplayers and we didn't because we had to go out and back in again and we were so tired by the time of the meets of the cosplay meets which was around 2 p.m and by that point we were already so frustrated from the overcrowding and from having to have done the circus once that we just decided not to go and decided okay let's go later before we leave if somebody's still there we, we see them if not whatever we don't want to do the whole circus again a lot of shops I wish I had seen. I seen a lot of sellers posting their stands on TikTok and I miss them. Like I couldn't see them at all because there were so many people and now seeing the TikToks, I wish I had been there, bought more stuff. You know, luckily I had uh, put some money aside to spend in the Comic Con, which I didn't even need because I didn't see this, the shops. I did buy from two shops though, I do want to mention. I bought from Citrus Sapling and from another shop. Not put the b-roll here so you can see what I got. So I did manage to get a few goodies that I was looking forward to. I also managed to get a Tony Tony Dropper figure. So that was exciting. And some Pokemon cards. Um, yeah. And I have some gifts from my boyfriend as well, Pokemon related. If you're interested in Pokemon, I have a whole channel. Uh, and I also have more footage of the Pokemon things in the Comic Con. So I'm going to leave you guys right there. Um, it's going to be posted at the same time as this one. So you can go and check that out if you like Pokemon. So just saying. I feel really, really sad that I was looking forward to this event for so many months, like literally since last year, I was looking forward to go to the next one. And I was looking forward to spend time with my friends, see the shops, see the cosplayers. And I felt feeling so empty. Like I was so sad when I left the Comic-Con because I feel like I wasted my money basically. And I didn't see anything. I didn't do anything. I felt like I spent my money just to walk around people, overheating and just, not really enjoying myself. I did enjoy the time that I spent. I went with my boyfriend and my best friend, so I did enjoy the time that I spent with the both of them. It's very rare that the three of us are together, so it was really, really nice to spend the day with them. And actually, after we went out for dinner with another friend of ours, and that was very lovely as well. But the event itself, I don't know. They also raised the prices because last time I went, I can't even remember, but I'm pretty sure it was around 20 pounds. Please remember. Please comment down below like how much was last year because I think it was 20 pounds and this year I paid 24 and now already and they already raised the prices in October to 28 so I don't think a lot of people are gonna go in October I think another reason why a lot of people are not coming this October is because at the time of this recording MCM Comic Con has not released any statements they hadn't apologize not even I wouldn't say even apologize just say something they're ignoring everyone's comments they were deleting comments for a while they got called out on it on, on deleting comments from people complaining and they stopped deleting the comments but if you go on, the, on on their Instagram page the comments are still there but again at the time of this recording they had they, they haven't said anything they went silent they were posting about how great it was and people were calling calling them out on it like just just say something apologize say guys we're sorry you had the experience we'll try to do better you know something acknowledge that there was a problem because this is not one or two people complaining i this is the massive of the people that attended this event at least on saturday are complaining about these issues another complaint which i don't know if it is 
MCM related or not is that there was so many stands just selling the same thing. There was this specific stand that there was this specific stand that had like four, five, even maybe six locations, and it was exactly the same things. And you, if you went, you know which one I mean. It is the one that had the uh, swords. And I wanted to buy a sword, but then I decided by curiosity to check AliExpress. And uh, yeah, let's say that in the event they were selling these swords for 20 pounds, and it was like a special Comic Con price, and I found them on AliExpress for 10 pounds, like half the price, which I get. You need to make a profit, you're paying for the stand, but like double the price and call it a Comic Con special price. Mm, I don't know, bit iffy. Yeah, come on, 15 pounds. Come on. So there was like these, um, I'm gonna call it a franchise of shops just selling the exact same AliExpress dropshipping. Mm. Security was also another issue that uh, we personally didn't have a problem with. However, I see um, a lot of complaints on social media about how props were broken, people have been harassed. Uh, the only thing that we noticed is that they weren't very um, consistent on the way that they were doing the bag checks like the first time we went through i just opened my bag they looked barely barely even saw anything and let me through yet the second time that i went in this guy just like puts his hand inside my bag without even saying anything just puts his hand inside my bag and just shuffles it around uh not so much of a thank you and uh, have a nice day i don't know i didn't i didn't really like that i don't even think they're allowed to just put their hands on our on our things without our consent so i'm not sure how much that is allowed but yeah they were not very consist consistent on the way that they were checking um, bags for for safety i mean i could probably have sneaked in a weapon of some sort and they wouldn't have noticed it just because they didn't really try to uh check anyone's bags properly anyways this is basically the gist of it i don't know if i'm gonna attend the one in october i'm still hoping that they come up with a statement apologizing and trying to correct things trying to make it a nice fun safe experience for people in the future let me know down below if you went to comic con please let me know if you have a different experience because i see that most people have not enjoyed the comic con as much as the other editions so yeah and give me suggestions of other um conventions to attend they might be better than this one as always i hope you have an amazing day and uh, see you in the next time bye bye I want it down.